know what time it is? It's time for Aunt Murda's Recipes. It's a double header, that's right. Last week we did Aunt Myrna's recipe with the coleslaw, amazing. This week we're doing party cheese salad. When I saw her make this in Alabama, I was like, goosh, I'm not sure about some of these ingredients, but then I tasted it and it's like a dessert. Uh, it's really cool. So let's get this thing started. We're gonna cook all this on the stove, then we're gonna pour it in this glass dish, which I've never used in my whole life. I think my mom gave me this, but I'm gonna have a chance to use this and then we're gonna chill it. So it's gonna be awesome. Let's get started right now. Wait till you see this. I never would have put these ingredients together had it not been for Aunt Myrna. You got cream cheese, pimentos, Cool Whip, crushed nuts, any kind that you like. I'm using pecans. Lemon, or you can use lime jello. Celery, bell pepper, pineapple, and American cheese. Can you believe this? This is crazy. Let's go to the stove right now and get this thing started. Take your crushed pineapples and pour it in the pan. All right, get your, uh, get your jello mix. You're gonna do one large jello, uh, lemon or lime, or you're gonna do two small packets. I grabbed a large one. There you go. I'm not even sure, I'm not even sure what utensil to use for this. So, I'm just gonna mix it up right now. There we go. I'm afraid later on if I use a wooden spoon, it's gonna stick to the wooden spoon. All right, so we're gonna get this all mixed up. Okay, once the jello is dissolved, you're gonna add, I chopped up the cream cheese. You're gonna add all your cream cheese in there. And you're going to mix that until it totally mixes in, totally melts down. Cream cheese is pretty much melted down. You can still see the chunks of pineapple in there. I think we're about ready to, to add the, the rest of the ingredients. We're gonna add the chopped uh, celery, bell peppers, Pimento, the nuts. We're gonna mix that in. I can't even begin to explain to you how amazing tasting this was. It looks horrible, but I'm telling you, Aunt Myrna never has failed me yet, and I have had this. So I hope mine turns out as good as hers, have as good as hers, I'll be in business. Okay, I've turned the flame off. I'm just mixing it in now. So go ahead and turn your flame off. There we go, get it all mixed in. All right, here's a crucial ingredient. Your whipped cream. Let's get that out there. Gonna mix that in gently. Don't want to spill over. And I don't recommend using, uh, it's the uh, Cool Whip. I don't recommend using imitation or fat-free or sugar-free because they, they have a different reaction. This, you want the regular, real Cool Whip or real whipped cream. If you don't have Cool Whip, just use real whipped cream. Creamiest you can find, thickest you can find. Now I'm gonna move this off to the side. I need my glass dish here. Then you're gonna pour it in the, in the dish carefully. Kind of mix it around so the pineapple is all throughout the, uh, just make sure all your ingredients are all throughout the dish, okay? Take your spoon gently through, you can smell 
Wow, the lemon and the pineapple are just busting out. And crazy enough, the last step, you're gonna sprinkle on some cheese on top. Use American cheese. I wouldn't use a cheddar or a sharp because it's not gonna have the same flavor effect. Now I'm gonna chill this overnight and then we're gonna take a look at it in the morning. It's gonna be solid. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, well I realized I didn't have to wait overnight and the family wants to try this out. So we've only been chilling this for about four hours, but as you can tell, it's completely solid and cold and it looks beautiful. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? Look how awesome that looks. All right, so let's, uh, let's serve up a little section here and try it out. And you just cut it almost like a dessert and you just scoop it out. Look at, can you see it? Can you see that? It's beautiful. Place it on a plate. Come on. There we go. It almost has like a pudding effect. We're going to give that a try. Look at how beautiful that looks. Mmm. Wow. So good. I know it. Of course, I don't know if mine came out as good. So here's to delicious tasting. Mmm. It blows my mind that it's so sweet and dessert-like and has all those vegetables in it. <laughs> and American cheese on top. It is really... Oh, it's so good. I can't explain this to you guys. It's sweet and it's crunchy and it's got a custard feel to it on your tongue. It's beautiful. All right, I'm going to chow on this, give some to the family. You guys have a good one, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Okay, first thing we're going to do, a medium sand, uh, blah, 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 take two. All right, I'm going to chow on this, give some to the family. You guys have a good one, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.